Hello and welcome to today's training. I am Terry B. Jones coming to you live with the quick checklist for email marketing. And whether you're a newbie or just starting out with email marketing, this training is for you. Okay, so today I'll be sharing email marketing list building, the three steps to create powerful letters and get results. Now you want to pay close attention to this webinar and even share this with others after you have previewed it, okay? Because it's very, very important for you to get your email marketing autoresponder in place because we're getting ready to enter into a new year. And so you want to go ahead and start that year off ready to rock and roll, okay? Now, email marketing autoresponder letters are very powerful, okay? So that's why you want to pay attention to this particular webinar today. Now, they are used by successful online marketers uh, basically to automate repetitive sales tasks, uh, to build and manage multiple prospect lists, and to send out regular articles or updates and announcements, okay? Now, more than providing an automated response to an inquiry that someone may have of you, autoresponders can be your own automated sales force working online for you 24-7. So if you have a brick and mortar building, basically while you don't close it down, this email marketing autoresponder is working for you behind the scenes. How cool is that, okay? So now when used properly, autoresponder letters can automate the process of building your list, okay? And helping you to follow up with your prospect as well as helping you close more sales, okay? So that's what you'll be finding out today. Now, before I have already shared with you, uh, basically, uh, how to build a targeted list using your autoresponder. And so you will have this marketing funnel, funnel in place, which is where you're, you will post some kind of a message on Facebook or whatever social media or YouTube or whatever you decide, you know, to post some kind of intriguing message so that prospects will see it, okay? And they will opt in to your opt-in page by giving you their name and email address, okay? Now, once they do that, it will actually funnel into your email autoresponder where these leads will begin to be able to be converted to sales okay so that is the purpose of having this email marketing autoresponder in place okay so the first step you want to take place when someone decides hey you know what i want to find out more about the offer that someone has okay so what you want to do is to create five to seven messages about your offer okay that's before you even create your opt-in form all right because once they opt in you're going to want them to see these letters okay now before writing your message okay for these letters you will need to ask yourself a very critical question and the question is, what problem am I solving? All right. Or what problem can I help people solve? Your prospects. Okay. And of course, this doesn't have to be some big involved answer, but you do need to know the answer to this. All right. And so when you figure out how to solve a problem for someone and you can show them how to solve it, you will want to focus all of your writing on letting those prospects know how you can solve their problem for them through your autoresponder, okay? And then as a result, you're going to generate more leads and convert those leads into customers, all right? And so that's the beauty of what we're going to be doing here today. So let's get uh, basically to start it with creating the second piece here 
uh, the autoresponder letters. Let's look at the guidelines to creating these letters, okay? Now, your first letter, which would be your first message that you sent out, is going to be sent out immediately because when that person puts their name and email address in, that is what they're going to get. It should basically consist of a thank you message, okay? You want to thank them for requesting your information. You want to give them a brief history about yourself to build credibility, all right? Because that's what email marketing is about. Also, is to build no like, and trust, all right? And they need to know that you are qualified to share the information with them, all right? Then give them an overview of the information that you are offering, all right? Now, be sure to include in this message at the end a link to your website so they can get further details or they can place an order, or they can contact you for more information, all right? So it's a good idea to include your name, an email address, and maybe even a phone number if you want them to call you to set up an appointment, okay? So that is going to be in your first message as soon as they opt in, all right? So the second message, which is going to be sent out Two days later, you're going to set this up in the autoresponder. And all that message is going to be is a brief reminder of what you covered in the first message, okay? Because they may, you know, a couple of days that went by, they may have forgotten, all right? And you want to focus on the benefits of your offer, all right, in this particular letter, all right? And so what's in it for them? That is what you want the message to display all right so and how is your product or service or opportunity different from other products or service okay so you definitely want to know that and put that in this message and then you want to use this message basically to let them know that you're you the stuff okay you are you know what they need your product is what they want okay and then the third message will be two days later, okay, after the brief reminder. And that one will basically be a good place for you to include some testimonies, okay, from your company or a little more of your own personal story. Now, if you are new and haven't quite created your own story yet, then share success stories and testimonies from others, okay, that have used your product or service. Then give them an overview of how people are using your product or service. Uh, basically, if you are promoting an affiliate um, plan, then explain how others are making money, basically, from using your affiliate program that you have set up, okay? And make sure, you know, to always include, you know, your website, you know, for further details, that type of stuff, your name and email address, phone number, and the bottom of each of these emails that you send out every two days later, all right? So two days later, your message number four, okay, is going to include a feature, okay? So pick one feature in particular to focus on, okay? One uh, feature of your product or service, okay? So maybe it's about you know, how you uh, your offer can help them save money or be productive or lose weight or even make money, you know, uh, whatever it is that you're uh, basically promoting, all right? And then, of course, remind them that you're available to answer any questions that they may have and provide support for them, okay? So as you sharing with them, you know, these features, they may have some questions in mind. It's like if you say, hey, you know, you know, I have this purse, you know, it's blue. And, uh, but then they may say, hey, you know, can, you know, do you have other colors? You know, they may want to know, can you ship it, you know, to a certain place or whatever. So, you know, make sure you uh, be able to provide, let them know, hey, you know, I've told you uh, about a, a particular feature. Now, if you have any questions, hey, hit me up. Here's my name, number, email address, whatever, all right? Message five, which would be two days later after that, all right? So you're going to use this message to be a little more personal, all right? You want to let your prospects know that you're available to help them in any way you can, all right? This message could be used to simply just thank them again as well, okay, for requesting your information 
and also to assure them that you are a real human being and interested in helping them to succeed okay so this if this here you know you want to touch their hearts and their mind okay in this here message five which was is two days later okay share with them you know if you know that they like cats so you share a cat story if you have children grandchildren you share some type of story you know about them okay but just be personal okay message number six all right it's going to be another feature okay so use this message to stress another set of features from your offer all right share a few more testimonials from others or from your own experiences with your product your service or your opportunity all right then you want to briefly review some of the details you have shared from some of your previous letters that you have sent out to them all right now message number seven which is the last one that we're setting up here okay it's one you're going to use to ask them for some feedback all right tell them you have enjoyed sending the information out to them and you hope it was helpful to them ask them if they have any concerns or what might be preventing them from making the decision to purchase from you or join with you okay so you really want to try to close the sale you know if they haven't bought anything from you by message number seven all right you may want to tweak you know your uh, messages all right because sometimes you know your your uh, clients you know or, or prospects can give you some good feedback okay and then they may share some concerns they may have or tell you why they feel your offer may not be for them at this time okay so this is what you want to get out of that and then of course you want to thank them for agreeing to receive your information and you're from your own autoresponder and to let them know you're still available all right to answer any questions they may have and as always be sure to invite them to go to your website include the url to your website include your name your email address and so that they basically can contact you all right and then you want to ask them to share you know social media you know links to your information and then for the next two weeks your prospects will be receiving your sales letters all right after you have set these letters up all right to automatically go out and so you don't have to remember to send them out it's automation in place okay you don't have to remember which one your prospects prospects you know basically receive which letter because it's all set up in there you can go behind the scenes in your autoresponder and see who got what letter on what day so it's a beautiful concept all right so this is just a, a simple guideline that you can use to create your own follow-up messages for your autoresponders okay and of course you can use you know more letters or less uh, letters you know but the average uh, for successful marketers seem to be in that range between five and ten you know letters all right and then notice that each letter ended with a call to action okay that's what you want all right when you invite the prospects to your website or to contact you with more information that is pretty much a call to action all right and this call to action is very critical all right to your success with your messages all right so you must let the prospects know what to do next and how to do it all right so the basically i want to share with you the third thing is to focus on these things all right so you want to continue to advertise you know to get more prospects into your autoresponder so you know put your opt-in page a link to it you know on your social media sites you know however you choose to market you know so that people can opt into your list all right and then the second thing you want to do is use the feedback that you've gotten from your prospects to adjust your letters and then you want to segment okay you want to separate the freebies you know from those who have bought from you okay and so of course with traffic wave you know you can actually earn an extra income from it and when you use it as an autoresponder so go ahead on and get started with your 30 day free trial period and you can do that at bit.ly uh, slash tbj traffic wave okay and i uh, look forward to connecting with you again and hope you have a very merry christmas